Okay, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of some post-processing using Paraview. Um, I've already got the results file um, from UFO CFD, and um, I've generated this image um, of the aerodynamics. So I just want to show how to do that in Paraview. Um, so this test case has already run. And it's a Ferrari 488 geometry. Um, so it's run for 10,000 iterations. And this is what the convergence plot looks like. So we just want to have a quick look at the results. This is the STL geometry of the Ferrari. Um, so I'm just going to dim this a little bit. And we want to load in the BTK file. Which is octree.btk. So we start off with this large cube. And we want to extrapolate that onto the geometry first of all, so that we can look at the surface properties. So resample with data set onto the Geometry. And then we can look at the velocity on the surface like that. Next thing we want to do is um, create a cut plane. So we'll take a slice straight through the middle so that we can see what the mesh looks like. I might want to change the colour of the lines here a little bit. Edge colour. And then the last thing we want to do is create some streamlines. Um, so in the octree mesh, streamlines are a little bit more tricky. We need to use the cell to point filter first of all. And then we can take some streamlines. If we look at the streamlines, they're not complete.
So we need to go into the uh, streamline settings and choose interpolator type, interpolator with cell locator. And this is um, just specific to the octree mesh. And then you can see the streamlines there. Then become continuous. I might want to change the position of the streamlines a little bit. So there you have it.